What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make signature custom hands for your WWE figures. <laughs> Alright guys, so if you watched our video yesterday, you would have seen that I did not like how open these Seth Rollins hands are. I want them to be more like this right here, more of a closed fist. That just looks way better to me. Makes it look way too big if it's, you know, wide open like this. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you a fig hack that you can do to, you know, morph your WWE figure hands. You can change them. You can make signature hands. And if you don't know what signature hands are, signature hands is like, you know, the threes that John Cena holds up right here. Uh, the three hands like this. Uh, you know, the two sweet from Finn Balor, the two sweet from AJ Styles, Club, and I mean, there's a few more, maybe the Woo 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 or the Long Island uh, thing that uh, Zack Ryder does with his hands. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do any of those. Very, very simple thing to do, so I'm just going to go ahead and get into the supplies you'll need, and uh, we'll get started. So if you're just making a hand smaller or making a closed fist, all you'll need is a hair dryer and some cold water. But if you're going to do like some uh, signature hands, like if we're going to make these John Cena hands right here out of this John Cena, we're going to need an X-Acto knife. Where did I even put it? Where did I put my X-Acto knife? Alright guys, I found the X-Acto knife. No worries here. But what we're going to do is uh, first we're going to heat up the hand. I guess we'll start with the Seth Rollins hand because it's very easy. Uh, we're not going to have to require any cutting. So we're going to go to the bathroom real quick. Uh, let me just go ahead and make that happen. Alright guys, so we're here in the bathroom and it's very echoey, so I apologize if it's like uh, destroying your ears here. But uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to heat up this right hand of Seth Rollins and then I'll show you what to do next. So we got to heat it up first. You want to make sure that it's really loose, like it's real flimsy and stuff like that. And then we're going to put it in the position that we want it. Maybe like that right there, that's pretty good. Then you want to cut on your cold water and then just hold that thing in place to where you want it and then run it under the cold water. I'd say maybe hold it under there for maybe 10 to 15 seconds. And bam, there we go. You see how the fist is now closed. It's not near as open as it was. It makes it look better. Um, I had to do it sort of unconventional. That's probably why it looks so terrible, but it still looks better than the open one. I'll probably have to redo this, but it's still it's still better than it was. It looks way better than the open one. So now that we're done with Seth, we'll move on to Cena. Now for Cena, it's probably going to be a little bit more difficult. We're going to do it on this right hand over here. So what we're going to do, we're going to do like we just did with Seth. We're going to heat it up. Then we're going to take our X-Acto knife. We're going to take our X-Acto knife and then come in where the index finger is and we're going to cut along that seam right there where his index finger meets his middle finger. It's kind of hard for you guys to see. I'll do my best here, but uh, let's go ahead. So you'll just get right in this index finger right here and just sort of cut in this seam. Trying to do my best to get you guys to see it, but also not F up the figure here. You know, if you're younger, I'd probably recommend an adult helping you with this so you don't cut yourself. But just like that, you see how the, the index finger is now loose away from it? Now what we're going to do is hold this in position. Go ahead and cut the water on. And now this is what we're left with. Guys, got the three hand right there. There is some excess skin right there on that middle finger that I'll probably cut off real quick to uh, make it look some better. So here we go, guys. I cut off that excess skin. It looks a little bit better, but you see there, there's the, uh, the signature hand for John Cena. So that's how you would do that. And then for Finn Balor, you would pretty much do the exact same thing, except you would uh, obviously cut it Let's see, you probably cut the pinky away from the middle and then you would cut the index finger from the middle. Uh, push that thumb in, push the uh, middle fingers down and the other ones up and then put it under the water. I've done it for AJ Styles before, but uh, I'm not going to do it in this video. Maybe we can do it in another one. But hopefully you guys did learn something from this video. Uh, I think it's a pretty good fig hack. You know, the Seth Rollins does look a ton better than it did. John Cena, you know, I, I wasn't going to use that. That's just sort of an example that you guys can do. 
But uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy this fake hack. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Let me know down in the comment section below if you found this helpful. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.